Yo guys, what's going on? Zace is here today with another video. In today's video, we're going to be doing a little bit more speculation on 12.11 and if there's going to be a wipe or not. There's not going to be any gameplay or anything. We're just going to be talking and having a nice chat here. So do me a huge favor. Make sure you leave a like on the video. I really do appreciate everyone's support. Usually at the beginning of vids, I like to take the time while I still have your attention and talk to my subs and give you channel updates. So if you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button so all this stuff applies to you. And if you still don't give a shit, if you're part of the 93% of viewers that are Aren't subscribed to the channel who watch my content go ahead and skip forward a couple seconds couple minutes whatever it may be get into the content but a couple things for all the subs guys the support has been crazy thank you so much the last week i was on vacation i had a ton of content scheduled out for you guys so don't worry the hardcore series zero to million series not going anywhere we're still gonna be doing that i just got back yesterday so we'll get back into the groove of things and i wanted to make this video so you know i'm here we're still good to go any content recommendations you guys gave me in the comments over the last week, just re-drop them on this video. Give me a refresher. I will do some of those videos. I know I have a backpack video coming up, and I have some more content that was made, you know, a week and a half ago already that still needs uploaded. But just want to let you know, Hardcore Series is still going to be returning and resuming, and then same with Zero to Millions. I just didn't have enough time to do that before I did go on vacation because, you know, we're talking two hours worth of footage per episode, edited way down. It's just a lot of work. So just want to let you guys know we are good to go. One more thing about Nikita and Wipe, and then we'll hop into today's theory and speculation. I'm really going to, I'm excited for this one, man. I'm really excited to bring this one to you. But Nikita and Wipe. A lot of people have been commenting recently that Nikita said Wipe won't be until, you know, mid-June. Guys, Nikita is not a reliable source when it comes to Wipe information. Every single other thing about Escape from Tarkov, Nikita is a very reliable source and everything he says is going to happen at some point. But when it comes to Wipe, he's not credible. He loves lying about it. He is just a really, really funny guy. And when it comes to Wipe, he loves trolling. It is just one thing Nikita does. The last Wipe, the one that happened in December for 12.10, uh, Nikita said literally like a couple days or a week before the Wipe that there's not going to be any Wipe for 12.10. And that was it. And then literally the day before Wipe, so I think it was in, on the 23rd, the patch notes released saying there will be a Wipe. It was literally at the top of the patch notes, and I think I made a video on it like that day. It was uh, right when I started this channel almost, so it was perfect timing. But uh, Nikita is not reliable for wipes, so just letting you know, don't comment it anymore because I'm just going to tell you the same shit I've been telling everybody else, that Nikita is not reliable for wipe information. Let's hop into it. So this update, this patch, whatever you want to call it, I'm not going to call it this wipe because we're not sure if it's going to be one, but this patch is going to be scav-focused. Now, one thing, this comment that I read earlier, if I could find it and flash it on the screen, if I will, if, you know, I can at least put their username on screen, a shout out to them. But um, they commented something along the lines of, this patch is going to be mainly scav focused. Now, why would they release a patch that is scav focused when everybody's already rich and they're going to be using their PMC? And I thought this was a great just point. It was a great observation because I had never thought of it. I have never thought of it in that way. I was mainly looking at it from the factory expansion standpoint. But if we take that out of the mix and look at the core mechanics of some of the things that are going to be added into the ongoing, you know, Escape from Tarkov beta and the systems and everything new that's going to be in place, the biggest thing is going to be the Scav Karma. And this new thing with Fence, if that is added in 12.11 and not pushed back, there's going to be like a trader rep for Fence now. And you're going to be using your Scav primarily for that. So this is going to add basically an entire mechanic change to the scavs in the game. Nobody's going to use a scav if they have 100 million rubles on their PMC. There's no reason to. The only reason I use my scav here is for this channel. Because we have a factory in and out series where we take our scav, we go into factory, we run right out of the raid in 20 seconds and get however much profit out of it. It's the only time I use my scav. And maybe at the beginning of wipe is when I use my scab. And there is the exact point I'm trying to make. And this commenter was trying to make. The only time you use your scab runs is at the beginning of a wipe. So why would they implement any scab changes that aren't going to be at the beginning of a wipe? Nobody's going to use them and give them the feedback that is necessary and required to make these things better in the game without the wipe. Because no one will do it. You know, there's going to be a couple curious players that want to try it out. But those players who do try it out are going to do the opposite of what they want. They want the scav karma to kind of eliminate the scav on scav violence. However, if new players such as my, or not new players, but if veteran players such as myself want to try the mechanics, all we're going to do is go kill a shit ton of scavs. That's all we're going to do. And the new players, they might avoid them, but 
at the end of the day, they're still inexperienced players, and it doesn't really affect them as much as it kind of affects the, you know, veteran players who want to see some new content injected. You know, we're bored of the game. We already have 100 mil. It doesn't matter. All that stuff into one giant pie is that if we take the factory expansion out of the mix, the main core stuff that's being added is scav related. And when I read this, I was blown away. I was like, how have I not thought of this? It was a great point. And I'd love to hear what you guys want to say and have to say about it. I think it's a very valid discussion point. I love the whole speculation thing. If there's going to be a wipe or not, you guys seem to as well. The videos do incredibly well. And um, I'm hoping this one pops off too. So you guys can drop in the comments all your theories and all that stuff, man. I really do enjoy reading them. This one was super cool. And, um, you know, I thought it was very, very valid. I thought it was a very, very good point that this is going to be a really scab heavy patch. And no one uses scabs unless it's at the beginning of a wipe. So therefore, 12.11 will be a wipe on Thursday. I don't know what Thursday, but it'll be Thursday. So stop asking me. Just know Thursday. That's all I got today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Sponsors and equipment in the description below. We're also working on a membership option for this channel. Uh, if you're interested in that, it'll be up in a couple days. And uh, just one more way to support the channel if that's what you're into. Not a requirement whatsoever. You guys are awesome. All I appreciate is you stop by and view the channel and the videos. Nothing else is required of you, but it is going to be an option for those people who want it. It's going to be it for me, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm out.